so the last time I videoed something here, I was working on the end of the house. Well, actually, that's not true, because I've been working on the RV too. So I'll have that out. But um, I was doing this trim, and I got the soffits and the fascia in. I've got that metal roof back, and slide that rake trim under there. And I get this all done except for this soffit right here. But there's a bird's nest right there, so I'm waiting for those guys to be able to fly. They've been yelling at me. So today, I'm removing, getting ready to remove these windows. They're really too big. They're heavy to slide. This one here, the seal's broke. So, you know, all that goop on the inside. And uh, I'm gonna put in a little bit smaller one, three by four, or four by three, rather. Uh, these are the easier ones. They put them in and then they just kind of gooped up the, stuck all around the edge. I'm gonna take you at least start to finish on one of these. I'm not really sure I'm working on this one next. So I'll do this at hyperspeed and you can see how much of a pain they are. So you see I was cutting stuff along here. Let me turn it around. Um, it's just the the wire, that one long piece came off because they had a piece of reinforcing. They just had a piece of hardware cloth in it. Kept it from falling off, but this is what we should do. We should bend that chicken wire or the stucco wire into the frame. So that's what I was just cutting off. And if you're doing any of this and you don't have one of these, I highly suggest it. They save a ton of work. Now this was really easy. The window I'm going to do next week sometime is actually embedded into it um, from the original house so that won't be so simple so i've gotten into taking these windows out i have never seen this is a flange window and the screws man that's the lightness you can't see there's a screw right there so they're in there but there's this piece of wood shoved in there this whole it's a filler i don't know why would you just put like i'm gonna put that flange out here and then mud into it why is that sunk in and when you sink that window in then you get this edge that you have to finish with stucco and the water's gonna run in there so yeah you'll see when i go farther i'm not Oh, I think I had this paused before. Okay. Well, anyhow, I have not. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on here, and, and you can watch. You know, I don't know. The sun's gonna be. Hopefully, I can edit some of this out of here. I'm gonna work on this for a minute, and then we'll see what happens. Is 
So what we got going on here, I guess I'll have to stop and clean this out. <sighs> so the mortar was in there. And so I'm gonna have to get, you can see where it's behind the lip on that. There's a lip here on the top too, it's behind it. And so this, these little pieces of mortar are holding me from pushing that up. So, yeah, oh, there's a shim right there. So we'll see. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. I got, that's not, I didn't do a first blood here because I throw blood on everything, but... I know it's right in the sun, but nail sticking up there. I haven't stepped on a nail in a long time. I'll try to do that this year, this this project. in there too because we'll keep the chickens happy. Now I get a up there aren't real thrilled. I see they have cars. Oh my goodness. You think that would hold a window in?
14 of them. and a quarter screw. I mean, I don't want to blow it out. Blame them. Yeah, it uh, looks like they had whatever they had. Those big ones, those short ones. There's long ones, there's short ones. You know, I guess that's just one fault with that. Using what you got. And it's set in tar. So this frame is probably going to be no good by the time I'm done. Term gloves loosely, they're kind of holy. The reason I'm saying this is because this morning I went to the lumber yard and somewhere here, I really can't see the sun. See that big dig right there? Well, there's like a 3 8 inch long splinter in my hand that I can't seem to get out. It'll come out in a couple days, but anyhow, the lumber here is just so dry and prickly. Like everything. And that really hurts. So, I'll take this out and probably drop it on the ground because it's probably going to be heavy, isn't it? And I'm going to want to hang on to it. These are what they do on these houses. The other windows that were taken out of this, like I placed on the other end, that's set back in there. So they had that made to fit this opening. And then they're mortared in with big spikes. So actually, uh, they're a stinker to get out. I only have a small, small one to take out now. I've taken the other ones out. But. If you can see, gosh, the sun, there is a hole right there. They have, oh my goodness, I don't know, they're six inch spikes. That one was rusted off. That one was rusted off. But you can see them. There's one. There's one. There's three. Twelve. Last window, I had twelve. And it was up there. It was that same size after change on the other end. It's just a three by three window and it still had 12 spikes in it. So 
this is what we're up against here. But anyhow, they didn't want them coming out, so it's better than having shoddy work. We might as well have the garage that we say mazzle. You mazzle. Do it right. So those other windows, basically they framed out, they trimmed out the inside of it first. And then that window that they took out, replaced with this one that I'm taking out, sits up against the trim. So the other thing that's interesting about this, how they built these, is I've made a mistake of I've made the mistake of thinking that this is just nailed on here. Well, here, let me get over here so where maybe there's not so much sun. These are just nailed on. They're not. They're actually rabbited out of the stud. So you can't take those off. So I got that window. I measured it rough opening to this plus an inch and a half or two inches. And then I got it and... I couldn't remove these, so I have to do some work in there. You know, it's my wife's sewing room. I want to do this room before I did the bedroom, see what I was up against. So, other than that, this is where we are so far. Okay, so what we want to do, this is a 60 something inch opening, 68 inches. So, I'm putting a four foot window in here. Generally, I would center it in here. Except this window isn't centering the room because it was centered when it go closet. So I'm going to keep it to this side. But anytime you can cut down your span, throw something in there, you do that. So I'm going to leave space for a stud here so I have a nailer. And then my window that I have is a rough opening, it's four foot. Oh, which means. Four feet, no inches. And that's how we roll. Now I want to get the framing really close on this. So I'm going to bull nose the drywall and go right in. So that's how that goes. And also I'm going to change the height because I like the top of the window to be the same as the top of the doors, which is not in this house. I measured down from the ceiling and I gave myself an extra half an inch for drywall. And then I'll do my rough opening. This is going to be three feet even. We didn't look at instructions a lot because um, there wasn't a lot of changes. We look at them up the well, we have new installation changes, but um, when you're doing a lot, you don't have a lot of time to get used to it. Put the slider back in. Started with
my flange is an inch and an eighth. So if I framed off the surface that's here, like that one, my flange wouldn't fit. I'd have to cut it down. So it's easier to just put a 2 by 6 right up there. And then I'll know where I'm going from there. So I'm going to put this on laps so you don't... I can... Yep. So if you notice, I don't have really, I'm just using scraps. I use 16 pennies in that because that's what's in the gun. Three quarters a little too thick. Might go with some half inch on the other window. I just don't want to get the stucco too thick around it. You'll see why later. I'm going to finish this up and I'll show you how to put these windows in plumb level and all that stuff. So I got that finished, I got that all ordered in. I know the sun is playing with being a mess anyhow, but I used 30 pound felt paper. That's a long time. 15 pound is just so cheesy. Quite cheesy. That's being cheap about it. It's one of the cheaper things you can buy. In there, find the corner. Bada boom, bada bing. Gap there, and I want the stucco to go in there. It's easier to cut it off, put it back on. It would be so hard. So that's that. I'm gonna put the other piece on the top and come down over the top so the water can come down on this. Put it on top of the flange. This one's going here, so it runs out. This is the weak point here. Stucco this here, it's not going to matter a whole lot because the old original stucco was porous. The water would get in there and a lot of these have been rotten. Um, this is, uh, um, I can't think of the name of the paint, but it has waterproof. The last America or something, the last of something or other. It's going to last, okay? 
So I'm gonna go grab some nails and throw this window in. Everything ready? Uh, almost. Got my level. Got my hammer. Got some open nails right there. Got my window. Take all these home blocks off, which are glued on, so which is great because they really protect the window. So I'm going to uh, right behind me we're selling and if that goes what I'm thinking then we're gonna maybe build a tiny house so we'll see now what I'm doing is sliding from one side to the other see how much room there is and I'm gonna split the difference now before I nail it let's see check again Okay, so it's low. Well, as it should be, put that piece on there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a slaughter hole. And I'm actually going to lift it up a little bit. I don't know how much to lift. Oh, and this. Alright, try that again. That's where that hole is. Is still latched, but let's just check it 59 and a quarter, 59 and 16, so 60, 64 is off, 30 seconds off. Double hung windows, you want to especially check that because they move a lot. So, that right there. there's a lot of nail pins in them. A lot, of, a lot of nail pins. There's a lot of slots in the nail pins. Might as well use them. This side here, I gotta go get some screws for probably. Just barely catching it. So, this is what I was just showing my wife. Down the bottom, I got a good 5 8 Over here, this is almost flush. That's probably more stucco. That's why there's no sense in being too. I'll see about it, I'll probably put half inch on the other one, so well in past all that. Nail this sucker in. And then we want that top. That's the tight paper. Come on, the top of the lens. The water can run down here, run down here, and then run in the wall there and rot it up. But I can't do much about that. If I get really ambitious, I'll restuck all this house because there's so many patches in it. But that's a ton of work, so I wouldn't count on it. But. So I'm not a professional stuccoer, I guess you could say. I'm just a handy dandy, you know, kind of just do it. So this is just regular chicken wire. Oh, the nail is not in there all the way. I don't know who that dub was. Anyhow, so this is just regular chicken wire. Bird's not happy with me again up here, by the way. He's a she, he. He's got chicks.
So you just need a little chicken wire on there. And I'm not going to run through the whole thing, but I should trim back this jarred paper too. But this over here I'm going to leave long because I like to... I'm going to cut that like so. And I actually like to fold it back in there so I can have a little extra for the stucco to hang on to. And then I'm going to just put all this on there and then I'll come back to you. Come back to you when I'm actually mixing up the stucco and putting that on. So I just wanted to show you this. So if you have them nailed up tight, you want to just pull this out a little bit. It's like putting rebar. See how I folded this over here? Give me a little extra. It's like putting rebar in cement. You don't let it lay flat against it. So once I nail this, I'm going to pull it out a little bit. Now you can actually get special nails. They have little spacers behind them and all that stuff. I think it's kind of a pain if you put them in the corners like this then you can pull it down, stick it in there. It's not tight, you can see it moves. That one is. See how I left that space? So it's just to hold the wire there, hold this mud, the stucco to the wall, all that. So that's all I'm doing, nothing special, nothing fancy. Also, I try to keep this old wire, shove that back in there, because it's already tied into this stucco here. Um, a lot of it broke off, so. But anyhow, if I can stick them in there, I'll put a nail right in there. So I'm folding this back a little bit. I gotta cut this off yet. So I do want that mortar to go into the old mortar for the stucco. So I gotta see where that exact edge is. But anyhow, that's, that's where I'm headed. So this is what I'm saying here. You see how tight that is. So, just come along and pull it out. You want that stucco to go in behind it. A little secret on the ends too. The ends are curled up. Bend them the other way first. And then when you pound this in, it'll bring them in tight. So, see I have a lot of nails right there. But it wasn't doing what I wanted. And the nails are actually what hold the stucco on. So don't be shy with the nails. So like here. There's a ton of nails. But see I want to get that old stuff in there. You can just bend those in. The other problem with stucco is you see how thin it is here. I don't know if you can see. So I'm going to stucco up to here. <clears throat> I'm going to pressure wash some of this paint off so I can blend it down a little bit. It still isn't going to match what's there because it's been there for a long time. Um, there's some places that the stucco is really thick. So you just kind of have to go by, play it by ear. But this here, you know, I can peel some of that off. So that'll actually... I also also have some um, stuff to put on there that makes it stick better. Can't think of what it's called right now, but anyhow. Yep, that's where we are. So I'm just going to fill in this little piece. And I can't think of anything else. I got to go around, make sure this is pulled off of there. You can actually, when you put some on there, just pull it out a little bit too. But, you know, so that's it. So I'm going to do this other window now. I'm going to speed it up a little bit so you can see. Um, this is all done. Bird's yelling at me. Uh, this edge, you have a ton of nails in there, but I'm just trying to tie in. Oh, there's another piece of that old wire. I'm just trying to tie it in there. And some of it's got to be tweaked a little bit. I'm not worried about it. It's really just, I'm no professional. I'm just doing what I have done in the past. I've replaced other windows. I replaced all the windows, actually. Um, I have one left. These are the old ones I took out. You know, it's, uh, this is what happened. You try to blend it into here. This is called a knockdown surface, which I haven't done. Um, you know, if I had endless amounts of money, I'd tear this all off and do it over. But anyhow, that's not going to happen. So There we have it.
So like I said, not a professional. I actually went on YouTube to learn how to do this when I moved here. I moved here from Maine. No stucco in Maine that will stay because it freezes. Uh, there's this guy, Kurt. And I can't remember his name. That's what I looked at. He's a professional. This is not professional. There's probably people that do stucco that are yelling at me. You know what? It's my house. I. It doesn't matter. Um, got plenty of nails in it. I'm ready. I'm going to go mix up some mortar. And then we'll see how we go from there. So I'm just going to show you a little bit how to do this. I got regular mortar stucco mix. I use a hawk. Like for drywall. So I just lay it here. to do the top first. So that's the first coat. See, it's not fancy. One thing I've learned from doing drywall, doing this, don't mess with it. I did put tape on this edge. Um, another word for the wise, take the screen out and tape up the track. I did that on the other one. The track, just so you want to clean all the mortar out of those. So just do that. 